So we're here today on Fitzwilliam Street to talk to Paul Mulvaney, Managing Director of ESB eCars and Paul is going to tell me all about the new eCar. Well, first thing, Carmel, the keys for the car, and you don't actually have to plug them into this car, you just need to have them in the car, so you can just oh, okay. throw them down here, it's just a proximity sensor. So, it drives like an automatic car, so there's just an accelerator and a brake pedal, so you don't need to use your left leg at all, just your right leg, okay. <laughs> and start with your foot on the brake and turn the control here right away around, just like the key. That ready light up, so now the car is start. Okay. No, there's no sound, <laughs> no sound at all. So, the car is now on, and the main things I suppose about driving an electric car is it's particularly quiet, so you have to be careful when you're driving. People tend to walk out in front, so it forces you to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more careful, maybe than normal. Uh, other than that, it drives like an automatic car, except there's no gear change at all, so it's just perfectly smooth and then electric cars accelerate quicker than a petrol car, so they're surprisingly nippy. So you that's be careful a, just there. a little bit careful there. Okay. And other than that, the controls are pretty much the same as any normal car, except in this one, I'd say you're probably used to having the indicators on the opposite side, so the indicators are on the right-hand side and the windscreen wipers on the left. But okay. other than that, it's the same as driving uh, in any other car, except quieter and smoother. Okay, and what about starting off then? So when you want to start the car, you just put it into, into drive, keeping your foot on the brake and drop the handbrake and just ease your foot off the brake and simple as that. This particular car is a Mitsubishi I'm EV, but there'll be a whole range of electric cars available in Ireland over the next couple of years. There'll be uh, some pure battery cars like the I'm EV and the Nissan Leaf and there'll be hybrid cars like the Toyota Prius and uh, ESB will be supporting all of the different car makes and all of the manufacturers. Okay, and how much does the e-car cost? This particular car is the same price as the Leaf, and both of those are around €30,000 net of the grant. There's a €5 government grant towards the purchase of the car, and there's zero VRT, which is typically about four, four and a half thousand €4,500. So all in all, there's about €9,500 of uh, support from the government for electric cars. So there's a good financial incentive for people to move? There's a good financial incentive in terms of the purchasing, although they are still a little expensive because they're so, such a, an early stage in production, but they become cheaper and cheaper as time goes on. But as well as that, then the running costs are much lower. So typically, uh, an electric car costs about one-fifth of the price of a petrol car to run for fuel. So if you're charging a car at night time using nitrate electricity, it's only one or two cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So with savings would be roughly 1,500, 1,500 euros a year savings on fuel, depending on, on the mileage. Okay, so Carmel, when you want to charge your car on the street, you find a, a charge point like this, and these charge points will be up on, up on an internet system, so you'll be able to locate where they are. So there's one here, there's a different make across the road here. So when you want to charge your car, take the cable from the boot, plug it in on the car side, and then you go to the charge point. You'll have your own access card, so it'll know who, who it is and who your electricity supplier is. So then you hold the card against the door, the door opens, plug in and close and lock again then so now only this card can open this charge point so nobody can okay, inter so interfere you with your charger so you leave your car here safely okay. at the moment this type of charge point is equivalent to uh, an at-home charge point so that takes six to eight hours to charge but the next generation which we're, we're putting in now uh, will be able to charge the car much quicker than that it'll be three phase rather than single phase and when the cars are up to, you'll be able to charge a car in about an hour, okay. depending on the car and the charge point. But so you'll be able to charge about an hour on the street, take about six or eight hours at home, which is your car's parked at the end of time anyway, at night time. Yeah. And then we have fast chargers at the likes of motorway service stations, okay. where you can charge in 20 minutes. We'll also have a lot of these charge points in uh, retail outlets and cinemas and shopping centres, things like that, places that you want to park anyway. 
cheaper at night time. If you had night rate electricity, it's about half the price. It only costs two to three cents per kilowatt hour to charge the car. So it's much cheaper. It's about one fifth of the price of petrol uh, at the moment. So there's big savings on fuel. Roughly about fifteen hundred euros a year fuel savings. You know, depending on, on, on the mileage that you do. For the first 2,000 cars that are purchased, ASB is going to install a home charger free of charge for the individual, just so that people can be secure in the knowledge that they have their own fuel station at home. Uh, so those chargers uh, are small uh, wall-mounted units, you can have them in your garage or, or, or in the garden, and as I say, free of charge for the first 2,000 people. And how long will it take to charge the car? Charging at home at night it takes about six to eight hours because we have single phase electricity in Ireland, uh, so it takes about six or eight hours. Then on street charging like we have here, this is currently single phase, but in the future will be three phase, so you'll be able to charge the car a lot quicker on the street. Okay. And also there's high speed DC charging that will be available in the likes of motorway service stations, and that will take about 20 minutes per charge. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, it was a wonderful experience driving the car earlier sure. today. Um, it is a silent vehicle, sure. and it's very simple to use. I found it a great experience. So. Thanks for talking to me today.